So welcome back um, to our tutorial. Um, just um, to do a quick recap where we are. Um, we are building a DAO meta strategy. We want to have a DAO strategy which picks the top four out of 30 um, DAO tickers. We want to combine that in the second step with a head strategy out of bonds and gold. And then in the third step, combine these two into a meta strategy with the goal to reduce, uh, to find a strategy which gives a moderate performance increase over the DAO. Um, very importantly, reduce the volatility and the drawdown in that strategy. And we have gone so far through these four first three steps. Um, we have just created our DAO strategy, um, ran through all different parameters, optimized um, the parameters and have decided now to stick to a strategy, which is this here. The strategy um, is giving us currently a, an annual return of 70.2, a volatility of 19% and a drawdown of 35%. If I compare that to our DAO, we can see the return is um, basically double. Volatility is in the same range and the drawdown is slightly reduced from 48 to 35. So currently what I do like obviously is the increased performance. The performance has basically doubles, um, but I do not like the high level of volatility and obviously 35% of drawdown is not very nice. So the best thing to do here is now what we plan to do in this tutorial. We want to create a hedge strategy and let's start with that. For creating a new strategy, as you already know, we go to the portfolio manager, click new and input the strategy name. We just call that DAO hedge. Hedge strategy for our DAO strategy. And as components, um, let's start with picking gold. Um, TLT, which is the 20 years treasury. And we are also going to include convertible bonds, which is CWB. And again, as a benchmark ticker, I'm going to include SPY and I'm going to include DDIA. Then I configure the default settings. I'm going to use as components for the strategy um, only gold, TLT, and the convertible bonds. I'm not going to include SPY and DIA. And know what? Let's test first only gold and TLT. As a benchmark symbol, I pick DIA and I pick TLT. And the other parameters here, I just leave as they are. So the end is just to mark this as a sub-strategy, so it doesn't um, show up as a main strategy, but it's grayed out in our list just for easier reading. Save. So we first, before we go into the strategy uh, and configure it, let's do some reasoning of what we want to do actually. Um, let's look at the performance chart, um, which here is for 10 years. Um, and I'm just going to gray out DIA, so we just have um, SPY as a market proxy, convertible bonds, um, gold, and the 10 years, uh, 20, year, 20 years uh, treasuries. And you can see here, depending on the market time in the 08 or 09 crash, for example, the um, bonds went up very nicely. Um, you can then see over here, gold spiked very nicely. But then suddenly, in that period, both um, gold and TLT went down. Um, but then here, the convertibles, which are more equity-like uh, behavior, 
um, came up. So I think this is a nice combination. But when we look now at what we have selected, you can see only gold and TLT is allocated. Um, so you can see in this period, our hedge strategy is not performing very well um, because there is no other ticker the strategy can select um, when both gold and TLT um, go down. So this is exactly the reason why I wanted to include um, the convertibles. And this is now what I'm going to do. Just go back, portfolio, and also include the convertibles. Going back to our Dow Hedge. And now you can see this looks much nicer. Um, the strategy now has the ability to pick from gold, TLC, and the convertibles. If you look at the performance overall, um, the strategy has a positive performance, which we might not really require from a hedge um, strategy, but obviously it's positive. Um, we have a volatility of 11% and a drawdown of 20%, which is relatively high, especially as we want this to be our hedge strategy. So in the second step now, let's look at the parameters. We stick to um, monthly um, rebalancing. Um, we're going to have a look at look back and the volatility data once we optimize. Um, for the strategy algorithm, um, here you can either choose SR um, or DR. It doesn't really matter um, in this case, but uh, we're going to stick to SR. Use the top N ETFs. Um, I would propose we always select the top two, so always invested in two symbols. Um, and with these done now, let's give it a try. And you can see it's now getting a little bit smoother, um, but the um, drawdown actually increased. So then next try, we're going to optimize this. And we stick to the standard parameters and give it a try. I'm going to be back in a minute. So the optimization just finished. I'm going to have a look at it. Um, and also here some reasoning. We want to find a hedge strategy. So probably we're going to look for something which has a rather short look back. So we can react rather quickly to movements in the market. And probably also we're going to look at a higher volatility generator because we're going to be this hedge strategy very sensible to increased market volatility. Um, and you can see the optimum is rather in that range. Um, short look back with 30 days and a relatively high attenuator. If you look visually here, you can also see this is, seems to be a sweet spot here in that range. There might be another one in that range here with a higher look back period. But again, out of my reasoning, I rather prefer to stick to that range here. And again, in order to avoid overfitting, I'm not going to stick to the proposed best value, but I just pick another one which is close by. And then you can see the outcome, the annual chart uh, sharp is close to one. The return actually is positive 10% and volatility moderate with 10%. So then I think we can use this. Just click apply. Close the optimizer. And now we are back to our um, hedge strategy. And again, we have a look at this here, especially in crisis time, we want this to really sharply move up. So whenever equities go down, we want this to be performing nicely as it does here. You can also see in the time of the taper tendrum here, it spiked. Um, and then here, the only period which might not be nice is this year, which is 2015 where equities decreased and we didn't have any nice spike, but such as life, um, we cannot avoid all drawdowns. And also here for the time being, 
we don't want to do too much fiddling around. Um, we have now a strategy which allocates nicely um, between three hedging instruments, convertible bonds, um, mostly receiving their highest weight. Um, but we also have times where TLT and gold triggers in. And this is something I think we can stick to and work with for the time being. So then let's finish here. And in the next step, we're going to mix our head strategy with the DAO strategy to come up with a meta strategy.